What's up, YouTube? We got this 71 or 72. I'm not sure what year it is, but convertible Chevelle. Uh, it is September 3rd. It got dropped off yesterday, September 2nd. And um, we're going to be blocking it down. And we're going to be going candy cobalt blue. Um, we're actually going to be doing interior in it. We'll be replacing the carpet, redoing the seats, the door panels, the whole nine. So, um, yep, you guys will walk around. It's already been painted, man. They put a ton of money into this car. It's LS swap, QA1 shocks, uh, wheel wood disc brakes. I mean, honestly, man, it's about, if I had to guess, man, it's about 70, 80. Maybe even a hundred thousand dollars in this car. Yep. So it's got a few little imperfections that we got to fix, which you can see down here. And you got this trunk right here, and you got it on this side right here. But if you guys don't know, that lower panel gets replaced. The customer already bought it brand new. He wants to get rid of all the black parts all the black trim the black bumper all the trim that's around here that's black the trim that's right here that's been painted he wants to go back chrome the headlight bezels he wants to go back chrome so we're going to be doing uh cobalt blue with all the chrome bumper put all the chrome back on the car he also got a set of Coleon Forge that I ordered about seven, eight weeks ago. So they should be here any day now. 24 staggered. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. So right now, I'm going to take you guys up front. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be doing to the interior. Tomorrow, we'll start the breakdown process and gutting the interior because we got to get the seats to the interior later by Friday. So that gives us 24 hours to get these seats to the interior later my goal is to have this car done painted and buff in about two two and a half weeks maybe three so we getting started on the third so september 17th hopefully we done that's that's i hope to be uploading this video around that time so well anyway youtube take you guys up front show you guys what we're doing to the interior and then once we start breaking it down tomorrow, I start back recording. So let's check out this, this interior. All right, YouTube. So we're going with the candy cobalt blue. Y'all know it's house of color. Man, that's the only candy I shoot. Unless the customer bring me their own candy. But if it ain't house of color, I don't buy it. But we're going with the candy cobalt blue. I think that's over a gray base, but we're doing a silver base. We're going to go with the Yorktown brown seats. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all just can't tell me. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get it side by side. Yeah. Woo. So then we're going to top it off with the French seam. If you guys are not familiar with the French seam, hang on. Pause for a minute and I'll show you what French seam it is if you don't know. All right, YouTube. So, this right here, that's French seam. A lot of people want to call it double stitch, but it's French stitch, French seam, French stitch. Yeah, so. All right, back to the interior. All right, so now that you guys know what French stitching is, we're going to go with the king blue. Go with the king blue stitch, French stitch, with that, with that paint. Yes, sir. So, we're going to kill it. Then we're going to find the carpet that matches this color. So, that's what we're going with on the Chevelle. I will be ordering all my materials tomorrow. Um, 
and get it gutted tomorrow so we can get it over there to the interior lady i'm gonna lay the carpet i'm gonna do everything else myself like i normally do but um <clears throat> I've been thinking about getting back in the interior. If you guys been following me for a long time, if you guys have been, been here for my B&B videos or my early, early Canon Designs videos, you guys know that I sew seats. I stitch seats. Um, I, I haven't done it in a long time. But I've been thinking about, since I make good money now, um, I can afford a good sewing machine. At the time, I was using like a sewing machine from Joann's, but... Now that I can afford a good twelve, thirteen hundred dollars sewing machine, I've been thinking about maybe getting back into it. So turning one of my office rooms into the sewing room, but I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's a big maybe. But anyway, that's where we go on YouTube. So tomorrow we get it gutted, get it to my lady. We're gonna get all of this ordered tomorrow, so we can drop everything off by Friday. We're gonna start body working tomorrow. Start blocking it down. My body guy usually does two, three calls at the same time, so. I'm going to throw another one in the mix so he'll be on three cars at once. So, all right, YouTube, to the next clip. See y'all later. What's going on, YouTube? We back on the Chevelle. It's Tuesday. I think it's September 8th. And uh, we just got our materials in for the Chevelle. That's our seat. I think this right here is our stitching. So, we got the yeah the king ranch looking brown so we got the soul foam and um once my daughter get back with the razor i'm gonna open up the box so this is the first half of the order the second half of the order should be here tomorrow but yeah we got the fabric let's see All right, she's bringing a razor. Give me one second, y'all. All right, you two, we got the stitching. This is the blue stitching for the Chevelle. This is the red stitching for a G-Body Cutlass that we are working on, which is going all red with the red stitching. So I got that in. So we will be dropping all this stuff off either today or tomorrow. So, but yeah. That's that. So, all right, YouTube. See you guys in the next clip. What up, YouTube? We're back on the Chevelle. Oh, we done gutted it out. Got all the door panels off. Got the uh, rear door panels off. And we got, we about to. Come on. Sorry about that. It took a little minute on the alarm. But we got the front bumper off. We got the grill off. We got the bezel off. Pretty much got it tore all the way down. Now we finna tag and bag it. Only thing we got left to do now is get these side mirrors off, get the door handles off, the key lock off. And I'm gonna take the rear bumper off and we're gonna take this trim right here off and the trim around the, uh, the Chevelle. All right, so we got it all gutted out. Sorry about that, I had a customer walk in. So we got it gutted out. Um, we're not gonna take the carpet out until the new carpet comes in. Uh, so, so we pretty much got it gutted out. So we got to get everything to my poster lady so she can get started on it today. As you guys saw in the previous clip, we got all the materials here so she should be able to be breaking it down and uh, getting started on it pretty quickly. We got a new steering column that we got to put in it. We're going to put that in um, here shortly. So um, yeah, right now I got to go get some plastic bags so we can tag and bag these parts so we won't lose it. And uh, then we're going to drop these parts off to the lady. Then I'm going to take this window out. Take that window out. So we can get to these side lights. I mean side mirrors and the door handles. And we can continue doing what we're doing on this build. So. Alright you too. See you guys in the next clip. What's up you too? We're back on the 
71 Chevelle, 72, I can't remember which one it is, but it's one of them. The drop. Oh, we didn't already sanded it all down as you guys saw in the previous clips. So the only thing we was waiting on is this deck lid, which just came in. So um, it's Saturday. Y'all know I don't work on Saturday. So I was just actually up here so the customer can drop this off. And Monday, um, we're going to be taking the old deck leg off. And then we're going to be prepping the door jams and the deck lid and around the inside of the deck lid for paint for this candy. So, excuse me. So, that's what we're going to do. So, um, it's a brand new, brand new deck lid. I guess, um, I guess I can open it up for you guys and show you guys what it is. Hang on one second. All right, YouTube, here it is. Y'all do know the reason why we went with a new deck lid is because this is how the lock is supposed to sit. And I guess at some point on the old deck lid, they had tried to break into it and damaged all of this. So it was no way that we could sit down and fabricate man get this body line back in it and fabricate this perfect of a hole or indention so um it was either shave it or get the deck lid so but truthfully man the deck lid wasn't like 200 something bucks so um it was worth it it was really worth it just to put a classic car back factory and that's what he really wants he doesn't really want um the shaved trunk so he really wanted to have the original stuff so also um i do have the new lock it's already here it actually came here um like two days after the car got here so we got the whole entire hardware new key new cylinder the pin you know everything for this so so now we got everything that we was waiting on so time to get started on the paint so all right youtube i guess monday morning uh we'll start prepping the underside of the deck lid and start prepping around the deck lid and the door jams for paint so see y'all in the next clip What's up, you two? Back on the Chevelle. Uh, you overlap this right here, so cut that back off. See right here, cut that back off on it. Yeah, just just go around it. We already did the back side of the trunk, the back side of the hood. Scuff the dough jams. We just gotta take the weather stripping off. We gotta tape up the the ends of the wiring. We done taped up the engine bay. Cause we spraying all of that. All of this. So, so all right, I'm gonna show you guys the, the trunk and the hood. Old schools everywhere. One just got through getting primed. Yep, so. All right, YouTube. 
Uh, once we get through painting the door jams and the trunk, uh, we'll be we'll end part one, and then we'll pick up part two on painting the outside, flow coating the outside, cutting and buffing the outside, putting the interior in, putting the top on. Or I might just end it with doing the outside. I don't know yet, but. Now you can't look at that. That's a that's an exclusive type of. He's hiding in. He getting in the trunk. But all right, YouTube. We'll be back once we get in the booth. We got a few things that we got to do. We still got to take the glass out, the door handles off, and the keyhole because it's going candy, and I don't need to be trying to spray candy around this door jam. So. All right, see you guys in the next clip. What's up, YouTube? We got the Chevelle door jams painted. If you guys saw in the, the clip before this, you saw it was all taped up, but um, I didn't want to wait till tomorrow to untape it, so I untaped it while it was still kind of wet. But um, it's all dry now. So. Looks good, looks good. We finally got the glass out. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to be taking, we got the glass out and the side mirror out. We're going to be taking the door handle out tomorrow. We couldn't take the Weather stripping out. We like we said, man, we trying to do this whole entire build inside and out within 30 days. And we couldn't get a new weather stripping because whoever originally put this car together glued it. They glued it in. So uh, this little piece I tried to peel off when I realized that it was glued in. So, um, we just taped it up, but it's still, you still can't tell that we taped it up. There's no paint on none of the rubbers. Well, I lied. You got a little small part right there. So, but I don't know. That's tape. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. That's tape. So, yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull this. Yep, that's tape. That's tape. So I peel that off tomorrow. So yeah, no paint on the rubber. So my brother did a damn good job on taping it. So what's going on YouTube? As you can see, we got the engine bay done on the 71 Chevelle. The last clip you saw with everything taped up, I decided to go ahead and untape it while it was still wet, just in case my brother overlapped the paint, which he didn't. Everything was perfect, so. We couldn't take the rubber off because whoever previously put the car together glued these rubbers in so um, we couldn't take it out uh, we're trying to do a full build inside and out within 30 days uh, today is actually the 13th day that it's been here so um, 
we actually going to try to get it done and gone next weekend, which we'll do a full build in three weeks. So we didn't have time to order new rubbers, but my brother did a great job on taping it up. So, yep. So we in there. We did manage to get the window out and the side mirror off. We did manage to do that. So, well, YouTube, uh, tomorrow we're going to start putting. Well, we're going to put the hood on, we're going to put the trunk on, and then we're going to start wet sanding and start taping it up for paint. Um, we're going to actually let it sit tomorrow because this paint is still fresh. So um, we'll let it sit all day tomorrow. So we're going to start actually taping it up Thursday so I can paint it Thursday night. And then we can flow coat it Friday night. So, all right, YouTube, that's it. So, see y'all tomorrow. See y'all in the next clip. What's up, YouTube? Man, I left you guys with the engine bay being painted and untaped. But now we done got the, um, the hood on and adjusted. We had the trunk on but um we ran into a few more dents it was like a dent right here a dent there and a dent there so we ended up having to swipe the whole entire trunk but um what we done got done so far is we done got it wet sanding 500 but due to he was doing body work with it on the car but i ended up taking it off because he was getting dust on my paint so and while he was sanding it on the car it got compound dust. i mean not compound i'm sorry bundle dust all over the car so now it needs to be wiped back down and wet sanded again and um we got the hood on we got it aligned it's slick it's slick so what we doing now, man, is waiting on my body guy to get here. We didn't leave until about 1 or 2 in the morning. So I'm just waiting on him to get here to finish up the hood so we can tape it up and paint the outside today. Um, I got the back seats back. I'm going to show you guys that in the next clip. Uh, we got the new billet steering column. Got it installed yesterday and got it wired up. Yep, so uh, we still got parts coming in. Uh, like I said, we're going with the chrome bumpers. The chrome bumpers came in. Um, we ordered a new top part, of, top part of the dashboard that came in yesterday. I'm going to show you guys it up front. Uh, we got all new chrome bolts for the bumpers that just came in. So we pretty much got everything in. We uh, rushed ship some Forge Autos. They'll be here today. So, um, yeah, I guess up front, man, I show you got Oh, yeah, and another piece. The bottom piece that goes at the very bottom of the bumper that was damaged, that came in yesterday, too. So, we're trying to show you guys that we can do. Well, let me, let me, let me go back. If that money right, if that bag is right, then we can do you a full bill, show quality, within 30 days. We're doing this full bill on wheels interior paint all in 30 days today makes the 14th day of this building this is how far we done got 
So it will be painted today. It will be flow coated today. It will be cut and buff and interior in it next week. I could possibly, if everything go right, have this car done a week early and be done in 21 days by next Saturday. But if not, we still got another week of grace period. So um, I'm not going to post any parts of this video. I want to put it all in one video. So you guys can see the full thing in one video, even if it's an hour long. Hey, it is what it is. But um, all right, YouTube, let's go up front. I'm going to show you guys the seats. Um, and right now we just waiting on my body got to get here. So, all right, let's go up front. What's up, YouTube? So here we go. That's the the panel for um, that goes under the rear bumper. They came in dam damage when I showed the first very first video uh the new dashboard um it's gonna get dropped off today i'm gonna try to see if she can do me a french stitch around here put the blue stitching up here um and the new bolts for the bumpers because the bumpers was black and they use black bolts, so we had to get all new bolts because the bumpers are now chrome. So we got new bolts for the front and rear bumper, the, the dashboard, the lower valence piece for the rear bumper, and here are the seats. So I picked these up yesterday. She should be through with the buckets today and she should be through with the door panels by Friday or no later than Saturday, but I should have everything for the interior back by Saturday. So when I go pick up the buckets today, I'm going to be dropping off the dashboard to get wrapped today also. So that's where we at YouTube. Um, the next clip is either showing you guys the bucket seats or painting the car but um yeah that's where we at man we uh we got a lot done in two weeks man a whole lot done in two weeks oh no when the wheels get here the forgy autos get here um i'll show you the wheels we also gonna put some paint on the wheels also um so i don't know how i'm gonna paint them just yet but yeah once the wheels get here i record that but man in two weeks we didn't got the interior done under the trunk, under the hood, the door jams, steering column, all my parts here, wheels here, everything here. So, um, that's it. So, see y'all in the next clip.
What's up, YouTube? It's the next day, and uh, I didn't already untaped the car. Uh, the last little clips you just saw was yesterday when we wet sanded it, and you had a little video of when I first sprayed it. But uh, it's the next day. I done untaped it. I done untaped the door jams. I done untaped it. You guys can see. You know, I back taped all the jams, so all of that right there stay shiny. Um, I haven't done the trunk yet because the trunk is actually tied down with welding wire. So um, I want to pull it outside. So I'll probably undo this um, later on today. But um, yeah, turned out great. I had a lot of trash in it before we flow coated it, but that just comes with candy. If you guys are not familiar with candy, but usually you're supposed to take a tack rag. I'm trying to see if I got one laying around here, which I don't. Um, you got a rag that's it's real tacky, it's, it's sticky. And uh, after you lay a base of paint, you know, you got overspray that'll fall back onto the paint. You're supposed to take the tack rag and wipe it off and clean off and clean it off between each coat and definitely before you clear, which will help you get a better, slicker surface. Well, with candy, candy is nothing but a transparent, well, it's a clear with paint in it, it's transparent. You can see through it. So you can't tack off clear. So whatever trash or whatever particles get in the paint as you shoot candy, you just gotta go with it. If it's not, if it's not too bad to the point to where it's destroying the paint job, then just keep it going. Um, cut and buff it out, flow coat it out, whatever. But so that's what we did. We flow coated it. Now we're going to let it sit for another 24 hours. Um, I didn't finish last night until about seven, eight o'clock. So uh, about seven o'clock. So we're gonna let it sit in the sun all day today. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna start cutting and buffing. Cutting, and I probably won't start buffing until about Wednesday or Thursday. But, yep, that's where we are, YouTube, 71 Cheville. We are now officially, let's see, let's see, Thursday made 14 days. 15 16 so today is the 18th day we've done everything you just saw with within 18 days so um we'll try to be done with it by try to be done with it by um this weekend so all right youtube we're gonna pull it outside then i'm gonna give you some footage of it outside and then um go from there so see y'all in the next clip Yeah, it's a reflection. Yeah, I see it. That's crazy. You see it? Reflection off the ground, make it look like the paint is light, but it's a reflection off the ground. No stripes on that black. Okay. Yeah, blue. What you call them? Ghost stripes? Custom stripes? Now you can't move.
I'm digging, I'm digging on that. Digging it like that. Damn. I'll put them bitches on now. Come on, Big Daddy. Butter ball, butter ball. You got a wallet? Shit. Oh, my God, man. Shit. Hold on, hold on. Alright YouTube, we got the, as you guys saw in the footage, we got the front cap on, we got the chrome bezels on, we got the chrome trim that goes around the front of the top of the grill. I uh, didn't put the corner lights on because I needed um, new running light bulbs, but I got those. Um, we got everything out on the table that's going in. Uh, the back bumper is not in due to two reasons two reasons um, the first one is they shorted us these chrome bolts this right here they go to the bracket the bumper bracket which is right here they shorted us two bolts so you got a chrome bolt to go right here and you got one to go right here that holds the bracket so I'm gonna have to go to the parts store or hardware store and get those chrome or polished nuts also when we took this car apart whoever previously put this car together they had broke this piece right here so we had to turn back around and use this stuff this is some bad stuff quick bond it literally sticks to anything and dries in like 10 seconds when it says this rock hard in 10 seconds man it's the truth you just sprinkle a little powder on it and you use a, um it actually has two different types of powder i can't believe i'm actually uh advertising for these folks but hey man if y'all quick bond if y'all see this man y'all need to throw me something man because i'm advertising for y'all but you got the black one that's for bumpers grills fairings radiators and many more basically your plastic then you got the gray one that's for all your aluminum and metal so you pretty much sprinkle it on and you got this liquid and you and you pour the liquid on there drip the liquid which is right here and it bonds and it makes it to where it is extremely extremely strong we actually took one of the old bolts and um, used it against some wood and we was taking um, um, everything in our power to try to get that nut off but it wouldn't get it off so it is it is extremely strong so we bonded on the back side bonded on the front side and uh, we put the bolts back in like it was factory so that should hold it so um once we get once i find the other two polished bolts we'll be able to throw the back bumper on and the other brackets we better throw the chrome bumper on we also got this is the lenses that go on the front that have it in the corner that i had to get the running light bulbs for like i said he's switching everything from black to chrome you know this is the old one so now it's chrome um, this is all the molding. This is the molding that goes around the hood. This is the what? 
This is the windshield, one of the windshield moldings on the upper. And I'm pretty sure this right here is another. What is this? Yeah. This is the hood molding, the windshield molding, and that's the, the rest of the windshield moldings. We're going to put those on. Uh, let's see what we got over here. These are the chrome wheel wheels. But we can't use these. So I'm just waiting on the customer. I can make them work. So I'm just waiting on the customer to let me know if he wants me to do it or not. But basically, as you can see, the previous people cut the inner body, the inner wheel wheel, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And they made, I guess they, they had a wider wheel back here. And they trimmed this because you can see where they notched it right there too. They trimmed this, I guess, so the wheel wouldn't rub. So now this is too wide to bolt to anything. So I can actually make it work. I can actually panel bond it from the backside. I can put it up on the lift, set it in there, clamp it in, and panel bond it from the backside, and it will never come off. But like I said, it's up to the customer of how bad he wants it on the car. Um, another thing is we got all the interior pieces sanded and ready to be dyed along with um, the dashboard. So that's pretty much where we at. Um, what we're going to do today is putting the door handles back on, start putting the chrome back on. And if I can find those polished bolts, uh, put the back bumper on and we're going to start yeah pretty much putting the chrome back on and getting it ready to go out the door once we get the rear end back so that's where we at youtube i've been talking for about five minutes now um i had i couldn't get any footage because like i said i was in the in the mindset of getting it done so but now since things have slowed down i should be able to give you guys a little bit more footage because not only are we waiting on the rear end? Um, we ran into a wiring issue with the steering column. So we ended up having to cut the wiring back out of it. So in order to fix that is to upgrade it into a push button start. So I got a full push button start kit that comes with the key fob and all. So we're going to be wiring it up. It should be here Friday. So, um, I guess, man, we we gonna go over the the thirty day the thirty day deadline, but man, y'all, as y'all can see, it wasn't my fault, man. So, but so since we doing that and ran into that issue with the wiring, so we're going to be adding uh, push button start. So, all right, YouTube, as um when I get back on it or touch it some more, I record you. So. See you guys in the next clip. All right, you two, we back on the Chevelle. We didn't got it gutted out. We didn't got the carpet out. We didn't clean all the small miscellaneous pieces. And we're gonna put everything in the box. Uh, I done got my paint so we can dye these pieces that's in the booth. Uh, we ran out of Bulldog uh, adhesive promoter. And I just sent my little brother to go pick up some. So we're going to be dying center console, the kick panels, the armrests. Um, this right here is the pillars, side pillars. And this is the knee panel. It goes under the steering column. And uh, then we're going to be doing the dashboard. And then we're gonna give it about an hour or two, then we're gonna lay some carpet. So, um, another thing we haven't, we got majority of the chrome on. We need to put the trim around, um, which is this part right here. We need to put the trim around the, the convertible top, but we need to at least pull the top back halfway because it screws from the backside. We haven't put the bumper on yet because we are missing 
two polished screws. I'm not sure if I already mentioned this. If I did, I'm sorry I mentioned it again. But you got the bumper bracket here, and it bolts to this hole and this hole right here. And they shorted us two polished screws. So I'm gonna try to go to the hardware store and try to find them so we can put the back bumper on. So while the interior pieces are drying, we're gonna see if we can find two bolts for this side so we can at least get the bumper on today. And we're gonna start back putting the rest of the chrome on. So um, another issue is I've never taken the trim off that's around the windshield, which is this part right here. I've never taken it off before. And I honestly don't know how. So I'm going to leave that for last and I'm going to do some homework on it before I break or tear something up. So I never had to take the trim off. So this is my third Chevelle and will be my first time taking this off so but anyway we're gonna get it done we just gotta do some homework go back to the drawing board and figure it out so but other than that that's where we at youtube and um that's where we at and as soon as i get the paint i turn you guys back on so see y'all in the next clip what up youtube all right man we got everything dyed you guys don't know we matched the dye with the carpet we matched the dye with the carpet so it should match with the carpet almost 100 percent uh so got every little corner Every little crevice. The console. I actually ran out of paint. So um, I just sent my little brother to go get another half pint of this color and uh we're gonna do that we're gonna do the dash with that can because it took a whole pint half a pint to do all of these pieces trying to cover that black so i think i got about five coats about four five coats on everything so all right we're gonna let this dry for about an hour we're going to do the dashboard, let it sit for about an hour, and then um, we're going to go pick up the seats and the door panels and start putting everything back in the interior. So, all right, see you guys when I start doing the dash. What up, YouTube? I done taped everything while I was waiting, so I want to come back and show you a little quick little video to show you what it looks like on tape at the speakers. Man, got the chrome around the dag, around the middle console. Chrome in the armrest. So, looks good, looks good. I definitely love these kick panels. Man, it came out perfect, so. All right, YouTube, see you guys when I do the dashboard. Bottom piece for the bumper. Painted it last night. Bottom of the rear bumper. Excuse the trash can. We got the bumper bracket. We got the bolts that we was missing for the bumper bracket. So we just got to install this to the bumper figure out how we're going to mount this emblem and um, probably going to have to drill the holes and install it on the car.
есть? Ей нужны. Laying his carpet and putting his console in. We're gonna drive the dash. See, look, he's right there. Look, see, he's right there. Let me see. see yeah, but shit, we can't I get it. If I can get some on it, we're gonna drop the most important socket in between the carpet and the body of the car. A damn 10 millimeter. Whew. Man. You got it? I said I got it up right there, man. I just got it. I need a, got a uh, magnetic? No, nah, it's in the Escalade. The magnet is in the Escalade. This is a magnetic. I just tipped it a little bit. There you go. Oh, shit. Well, come on. Come on, Willie. Ooh. 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 This shit like a fucking gum bottle. Shit. It ain't strong enough. That magnet ain't strong. The socket is heavier than the magnet. And it keep getting caught on. All right, y'all, we finna try. Oh, we got it out. Damn. <laughs> that was a nigga got me patient. <laughs> Hell no, nah, I ain't got no patience for that little ass shit. Hey, next time, make sure it's on tight. So it won't fire. All right, so back to it. As y'all can see, my brother right here doing nothing, but playing on the phone. Boy, Maine right here putting the seats in. What, what, what they call it then? I know that's no, the, I got the dance from uh, from um. Hell no. Can't do that dude. Uh, what's the dude to be on wilding out? I know you talking about. What's the dude to be on wilding out? Man. No, hell no. The dude with the dreads. E man. No, fool, hitman ain't got no damn dreads. E man. What's his name? Oh yeah, E man. E man. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he did that little dance. He did that shit. Then he. <laughs> I mean, he look like, he look like oh, a fish on, like on dry land when you do it. My phone's dead. I can't. I can't. I can't remember. How many boats we got in? It would be hard to get in that motherfucker. Ain't no hair, so we don't know. Need some hair around it, bro. Yeah, yeah one on here right there. Though. This motherfucker is coming together. <laughs> All we gotta do now, we might get to try to put that kick panel in, cut that carpet, put that chrome on that side. 
And then that's it. We can do the driver side after the damn push button starts, you know. You need a ratchet. You need a ratchet? Yeah. Big jump. It ain't gonna fit that on Oh, you need the impact. Which one? Ratchet. Here you go. And it's a long game. You need a ratchet or an impact, man. Well, y'all can't see what he's doing. So, we're just going to stop it right here and come back. All right, YouTube. About 90% done on the interior. We got all the kick panels on. Got the back seat on. We got the side panels on. Got the speakers hooked up. We got these panels right here that go like this, but I'm out of self-tapping screws, so I got to get some self-tapping screws. Uh, we still got to wire up the push button start, which is right here. So we're not going to put the driver's side seat in. It's going to go right there, and we're going to get a, we're going to do away with the key. So. We'll put the driver's side seat in once we get the push button start install. Uh, let's see. We got this side all the way back together. The door panel on, the handle on. Got the carpet laid, got the chrome trim. Got the kick panels in. But yeah, that's where we at YouTube. We're gonna call it a night. And uh, we're gonna finish it up tomorrow, so that's where we at. So, all right, you too. See y'all tomorrow. YouTube man uh I'm trying not to I'm gonna try to keep keep this under three minutes try to explain all of this now I do know that we just jumped into some footage and I didn't explain anything and I left you guys off with the rear end being out uh honestly the customer brought the rear end back on Monday I mean Tuesday today is October the 8th um, So he brought it here on Tuesday, which would be um, The 6th So by the time he brought it here, I had to run and go get some stuff uh, My mechanic partner had already had the rear end in so I didn't get no footage Nothing whatsoever. It got dropped off I made a phone call to him. I said, hey, man, the rear end is here on my way. I think I was getting some parts or some paint. I can't remember what exactly I was going to get. But I made a phone call to him, and I said, hey, man, the rear end is here. He said, man, I'm on my way up there to put it in. By the time I got back, he already had it in the car, and he was bolting up the last little few items. So I didn't get any footage of it. So um, the rear end is in. It's been shaved the inch on each side. Um... I didn't have to do, I thought I was going to have to weld the brackets, but the guy who he sent it off to get it cut, 
he did everything so all we had to do was just put it in and bolt straight up and put the wheels on so as you can see the wheels on it is sitting perfect we bought a we probably about that much we got that much space from the wheel to yeah i say yeah probably about that much space about a half an inch from the front of the rim to the inside of the quarter i just gotta adjust it now this side is tucking a lot harder than that side so he wants both sides to be like this so just to bring you up to speed man we got the interior i'm pretty sure you guys saw in the last clip we got the interior about 90 percent done so um I, I can't remember if i mentioned this but we're not going to put the driver's side seat in until the re remote start i mean the push button start get installed now this start will this kit will eliminate the key altogether. it will turn this old school into a new car if you walk up to the car it unlocks the doors if you have the poppers or the keyless entry or if the old school came with it you can just tap into the factory system but if it didn't you have to have the solenoids that pop the um the lock to make it go up and down but if you do just wire it up to the solenoids or wire it up to the factory to the factory um kit and then when you walk up to the car it will unlock it when you walk away after you get a certain amount of feet it will automatically lock it uh it's just like a real car you don't push the brake you push the button and go into accessory mode you hit the brake and it cranks it so it's going to turn this 71 into a 2020 so hopefully that'll get installed today so we can finish putting the interior in uh man i'm already over my limit man i'm already over three minutes so i'm trying to hope i ain't boring you guys but we got this side now oh, it's locked so we got this side all the way back together so the only thing left to do now is to clean up everything i'm gonna wipe the whole car down clean the windows you got compound everywhere and um i gotta go over everything with the buffing compound one last time I still got spots that I haven't buffed yet, like right here. And um, put the chrome on. We got to put the chrome trim that goes right here, right across here. The emblems that go here. The SS emblems that go in the fender. And the chrome trim that goes around here. And that'll be it. So, all right, YouTube. That's what we get. Um, as the day goes on and as we get more done, I will either set up the tripod which is right there or just film and record so we should be through with it by tomorrow so we can leave saturday but we'll see see y'all in the next clip what's going on youtube all right we officially got everything done we got the wires buttoned up back underneath the dash we got the key fob working i'm not sure if i recorded this or not but if i did man we're gonna we're gonna look at it again but all right got the key fobs if we walk away the doors will automatically lock let's see let's see if you can't you can't see it but i'm gonna see if you guys can hear it all right they just locked now when i as i get closer to it I'm not going to touch anything. Show you guys that it locks, unlocks. All right, they just unlocked. Now, get in. Put the key fobs in. Y'all see there's no key in the ignition. done all right youtube i got a few other little things to do to the car and uh that's that on it
What's going on, YouTube? We back. We are back on the Chevelle, and today is the day that it goes home. We are officially done. We are done. I finished. Well, I'm sorry. We're not officially done. I got one. I got two things to do. Uh, I waxed this side right here. So, I got to come back and wipe the wax off this side. And I have to put the trunk lock back in. I'm going to try to mess with it again. Uh, the problem I was having was I couldn't have it sitting flush at the top. But I think I know what's wrong with it. So, if it don't work out today, then I'm just going to tell the, I'm just gonna show the customer the right one that he should get. But this right here is only going to take maybe about five minutes, less than five minutes to wipe off. Then I'm going to mess with the key lock, and then it's going to go out front to get detailed. But everything is done. Everything. Ah, the door's locked. We got all the interior 100% back in, including the dashboard, door panels, seat belts, side trim. I mean, you name it. It's all back in. So, oh well, let me fold up the seat. Somebody might say, man, you ain't show the back. So, everything is all 100% back together. You got the kick panels. You got the kick panels. You got the push button start working. When you lock it, it disarms it to crank. See, when that blue ring comes on, that means it's ready to crank. So watch when I hit the button. Boom, ready to go. So, we got everything working. Now, I tried to show, man, I tried to close this motherfucker with one hand. I tried to show as much footage as I possibly can. And at the same time, I was trying to get it done. I had a point to prove with this car. I wanted to show that I can do what you guys see on TV, that I can do give you the quality and have it done in a timely manner. So today is the 40th day. If you want to count, if you count the rear end, the rear end was out for around about seven or eight days. All right. We didn't touch it for those seven or eight days. So if you want to count the rear end, we've done this car in 40 days. If you don't want to count the rear end, we've done it around 31, 32 days. So however you want to look at it. So I'm going to say. We did this car in 32 days, 31 days, 32 days, because had the wheels had fit and the rear end hadn't been cut down, then the car would have left seven days ago. But it made us come at a standstill, so it pushed us back seven days. But still, I mean, you got a full build, you know, rear end cut down, uh, new longer ARP studs. We put new layer. We put ARP studs on the back. ARP studs in the front. Uh, got the wheels. We wrapped the center caps. Put all new chrome. The new bumpers. The grills. All new headlights. New chrome bezels. Uh, man, the chrome around here. Chrome trim. Uh, we actually broke it all the way down to where we took everything off the bumpers, the door handles. I mean. It wasn't it wasn't a tape and spray. It was a actually an actual tear down and build back up. So every screw, every bolt, every nut is brand new. All the way up into the trim. You see up in there? Those are chrome screws. Chrome screws. Down here at the bottom. Screws. I mean every single screw that I put back on is brand new there is the bumper bolts the screws is new 
the 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 screws that's holding the bezel, chrome, chrome. You know what I'm saying? So everything was was touched on this car. Every screw, every nut, every bolt, the studs, the lug nuts. I mean, you name it. If we took it off and we felt like it was old or rusted or was going to throw the car off, we replaced it. And we done this in 32 days. We done it in 32 days. The top was came in black. As y'all can see, it's now blue. They hit the top, the paint, the full interior, painted the engine bay under the trunk, under the hood, got the suspension right, got the rear end right, complete teardown, complete disassemble, complete reassemble, all in 32 days. And that was the point that I was trying to prove. Oh, and remote start. So, oh, damn, I keep, I'm keep forgetting other stuff. And the new steering column, I mean, we completely tore down the shifter. I know I guys didn't show you guys this when I was printing it on the computer, but let me show you guys this. Let me get my phone and turn the light on. So you see, he came out perfect. I designed it on the computer and um, I had a decal. I printed it on a, on a decal and made it work within the shifter so i mean i ain't trying to talk too much longer but i just had a point to prove that we can with a little shop in memphis tennessee with only about three guys here and an old lady that does my interior an old lady that can barely walk she walks with a cane can pull out an old school bill within less than 40 days we'll just say less than 40 days so i had a point to prove so all right youtube i'm finna go ahead and um take this wax off mess with this key lock and um pull it outside and wait on my detail guy to get here so see y'all in a minute YouTube, you just saw us pulling it out the shop. Uh, she's dirty, she got fingerprints all on her. So, 
uh, my guy Jarvis, aka Domino, is on his way now to um, give her that full detail. He gonna touch everything, even under the motor. So just giving you walk around before, and once he get through with it, give you another walk around. Then we will finally put an end to the Chevelle build. So. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. It's called the damn. <laughs> she done. What's going on YouTube? Right when I thought we was done, we had to tear it back apart. The customer wanted a double den, a radio installed. So I sold him one of the radios that was in one of my cars. And of course, just like everything else, the wiring to the radio was completely wrong, which was just like everything else on this car, just like the tail lights and everything else. So I had to pull the push button start out, rumble through all the spaghetti of wires, and I had to tap the radio into the ignition wire so we could get some type of power. Now, whoever did this car, they wired all the speakers to an amp in a trunk. So I just had to leave uh, my local audio shop, my partner Homer, he works there. So we just picked up a Crunch 1500 watt, four channel watt amp. I know I said watt twice, but yeah. But the radio works finally. So now we're just going to take this amp, we're going to wire it up on the speakers, and hopefully we get some sound. But right now, 
I have to take the radio back out because I did not hook up the remote wire and the way they have this radio set up is they glued the kit to the dash so the radio has to slide back turn and comes out and come out the top you damn near have to take the windshield out <laughs> just to hook up a radio that's that's fucking sad but anyway um so all right youtube i'm gonna get in here and snatch this radio out um I probably won't have time to show the in-between so in the next footage it'll either be working or not working we're gonna see so see y'all in the next clip No. Radio playing. Okay. Can't play no music due to copyright. But my boy right here putting the amp back up top where it go. And uh, I got one little spot to buff, and it's going home. So everything worked. It was a success. So that's it. Subscribe and. See what I do next, y'all. Well, that's a wrap. I'm going to go to the other side. That is a wrap. We got, we got the interior back together. All, no more wires hanging. Got the button, push button back in there. Radio working. So, that's it. He should be here in a minute. So, like I said, man, subscribe and see what we do next. It's a wrap. What's up, YouTube? I hope you guys enjoyed the extended version of this Chevelle. Um, I edited and deleted scenes in this footage, in this video, that didn't make the original videos. Um, also, after this clip, I'm going to be adding uh, some extra scenes that I either uploaded to my IG page or I sent the customer. So you're going to see pictures and pictures also. So you're going to see pictures after the car got detailed when we set the car out front i mean when we set it out front for like four hours straight we had people stopping by taking pictures looking at it man uh they was actually stopping by in the middle of the detail the detail actually took about two three hours to do because people kept stepping stopping by and once we pulled it out front uh people were seeing it from the street and was pulling on our street stopping by and taking pictures so i'm going to post those pictures as well um i got footage when i was buffing the car when i while i was buffing it after i buffed it when i did i uploaded to my ig and i got footage of when i made the custom console the the reverse the part the one the three the two the one um, I actually made that off my computer, printed it off. You have to go back into the video to actually see what it looks like afterwards. And I also got uh, a reaction video from a potential customer. The guy that detailed the Chevelle, he brought a buddy up here to look at the car to possibly get one of his cars painted. So um, I'm going to end you guys with that reaction video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, rate, comment, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
on YouTube, we back on the Chevelle. Uh, trying to make him a custom plate. This black is too boring. So um, I cleaned it all off. And now I'm gonna make him a, a custom plate that's blue with the tan. So I'm doing it on a computer and I'm gonna print it to a sticker and then we're gonna put it on this. So we'll see how it turned out. So stay tuned. Poor star did it. You ain't gotta have no tears. I don't do need it. The thing in your pocket like a brand new car. That thing gonna fire up. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh, I think I got to see the right here.